Okay, hey y'all, hey, how's everybody doing? All right, so I woke up this morning to the um, news about uh, Mr. Will Smith, honey. Um, and I know everybody's seen it by now. Well, I, I can't say everybody, most folk, because I didn't even know nothing about it until this morning because I don't watch the Grammys and stuff. And um, but I, you know, seeing where everybody was talking about what um Will Smith had did. Let me let me tell y'all. So I and you know what? I am so shocked that a lot of folks believe that what Will Smith did won't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> they didn't see nothing wrong with it. I mean, I mean, Christian folks too are saying stuff like he should have protected his wife. He should have done that. Are are you serious? No. Will Smith was absolutely wrong. Baby, I don't care what nobody do to you. When it comes to verbally, I don't care what nobody says to you with their words. I don't care what nobody says to you or about you, honey. Let me tell you something. If you live in this life, you are going to be offended. People are going to talk about you. People are going to say things. To you that you don't like. Don't mean you're supposed to walk up and slap somebody. Will Smith was. his What he did was violent. That was a violent act that he did upon Chris. Very violent. Just because someone says something about you. Your wife. Your husband. Your cat. Your dog. Don't, that you don't like. That's offensive to you. Don't mean you're supposed to walk up and slap the taste out their mouth. Lord, Amber, don't mean you're supposed to uh, pick up a gun and go shoot them. And see, that's what, what the problem is with our communities, with our communities today. People all in the name of ain't nobody going to disrespect me. Our young people are going and picking up a gun and blowing people's brains out, picking up a gun and shooting somebody. And in the crossfire, our little babies are being killed. Why? Because nobody has any discretion. Nobody has any self-control. Baby, we had better learn how to think and have conversations with folks. Mr. Smith, you were offended. Your wife was offended. Guess what? Y'all could have met that man backstage and had a conversation. But you don't walk yourself up on nobody's stage or nowhere and go put your hands on somebody else. That was absolutely wrong. Wrong. And I don't understand how folks are saying it was okay because he was fed up and people been talking about him. And this, It don't matter, honey. It don't matter. There's a lot of stuff I'm fed up with. A lot of stuff, I, you know, especially on your job, honey. You be wanting to say people talk to you any kind of way. But you can't slap nobody. You can't go off on nobody, especially at them jobs, honey. You got to suck it up and have self-control. I'm telling you, that right there, honey, that was a demon act. Only a demon would have walked up like that in front of a crowd of people and didn't care. And slapped that man. That's a grown man you slapped. That was, it, it was horrible. It was horrible. And shame on Will Smith. He need to be apologizing to Chris. He owe, he don't owe the cat. Well, he can apologize to the Academy, but who he owe an apology to is Chris. And can somebody go check on Chris? Because I seen Mr. Tyler Perry and, and uh, Mr. Denzel was consoling Will. Okay, that's fine and good, but my God, Will wasn't the one that got slapped. In front of a crowd of people. Can you go check on Chris? Make sure he all right? Is he going to be okay? You know what that probably does to a grown man to get slapped by another grown man? He was absolutely wrong, y'all. And this is the problem that we have. Violence. Violence is the reason. Because we don't think. We don't get out of a moment. He was in a moment. He was offended. His wife was offended. But you got to know how to do something other than react with violence. Just because somebody say something about you or your wife, child, people talk about people all the time. And you mean to tell me just because somebody, we're going to teach our children that if somebody disrespect you, somebody disrespect your wife, somebody disrespect your husband, your children, your grandchildren, you go and slap them. Or you go pick up a gun and take care of them. Is that what we're teaching our children to do? Is that what we're doing as grown folk? 
We had better learn how to make better decisions. We had better learn how to navigate through offenses when they come. Because if you're going to live in this here life, baby, you're going to be offended. Folk going to say stuff to you that you don't like. And you better learn how to do something other than slap somebody. Come tell you, hey, Chris handled that well. He displayed self-discipline, honey. But when somebody is being violent towards you, it's all right to make sure that they don't have a hand once it come down from your face. When somebody's being violent towards you, causing you bodily harm, it's all right to make sure that they leave with just, you know, their elbows showing. It, it, that, that was terrible. I was embarrassed for Chris. I was even embarrassed for Will Smith. I could not believe he done that. But you, he's an actor and we love the actor. But baby, what do we think about the real Will Smith that we saw uh, last night? What do we think about him? And Chris ain't going to be the last person to talk about your wife, Mr. Smith. Is you going to go around the world and slap everybody that say something bad about your wife? And folks saying she had alopecia. Baby, I didn't even know she had alopecia. I didn't know that. Chris might have not even know that. But, but still, that's no uh, defense toward what Will Smith did. It was absolutely wrong, y'all. It was wrong. And a lot of folk are believing that's how you're supposed to defend your wife. No, I would never want my husband to defend me in that kind of way. Never. You don't go walk up to no man and slap him in the face because he says something you don't like or something disrespectful. You don't do that. You Violence is never the answer. That's why a lot of us, a lot of our people are in the grave today because somebody got mad at something they said or something they, they did. Young people filled up in the prison system. Why? Because in a moment of anger, in a moment of offense, they made a horrible decision. A horrible decision. But I tell you what, I bet they wish now that they would have became still and thought through that moment. But see, now they serving 20 years of life and somebody done had to bury their child. But why? Because somebody disrespected you. My God. Because somebody disrespected you? Baby, they disrespected Jesus and he didn't come off the cross. But if you choose, and I posted this, you can make your own decisions. You can choose to do whatever you like. But baby, if you choose to live a life where you're not going to tolerate anybody saying anything negative or offensive to you, you better prepare yourself for a jail cell or a hole in the ground. Cause that's where you're going. And like I said, baby, you don't have us poor folk, honey. We do not have Will Smith kind of money. We ain't got no money to be paying no high lawyer to get us off. No, no violent charge. We ain't got Will Smith money. You walk around here talking about you're going to do like Will Smith did if you want to. You is going to jail, honey, for a very long time. But that was wrong. I, I, I just, I hate that. It's an absolute shame, honey. He walked up there and slapped Chris like that. I felt sorry for, I felt sorry for Chris. I did. Somebody need to check on him. I wish I could check on him. That was a shame. He slapped him like that. Because he said something he didn't like about his wife. That's a shame. But you know what I said, too? I said he probably had to get up and go do it. But let me tell you something. Some of these husbands got some controlling wives. And I ain't saying Jada controlling because I don't know. They lie for none of that. But let me tell you something. Some men are married to some controlling women. And if they don't, and if they feel like you didn't stand up on their behalf, baby, let me tell you something. They got to fight when they get home. So Will might have knew. Not saying this, you know, was his situation, but he might have knew if he didn't get up and say something, because you seen the reaction on uh, Jada's face. He probably knew, baby, if I don't get up here and go slap this man to defend my wife, when I get home, I'm going to have to fight. I'm telling you, some of these men, men know that if they don't do certain things that their wives want them to do, that they ain't got no peace at home. So in order to keep peace in the house, he might have had to go up there and slap Chris. But I said, Will probably, he didn't want to slap Chris. He really probably wanted to slap Jada. But you know, he couldn't do that. He couldn't slap his wife. But he probably wanted to slap her. All that anger and frustration, he probably wanted to do it to her. 
but he couldn't do that. But he felt like he could be a big enough man and impress his wife. I'm going to protect you. I ain't going to let nobody talk about you. I'm going to go over here and slap this other grown man. In the world, most of the folk feel like it's okay. That ain't okay. That's wrong, honey. That's wrong. That is wrong. Some slaps come with coughing sometimes. But we thank God that one didn't. You know what I'm saying? But that was wrong. You don't be you you can't go out and be violent towards people like that because they say something you don't you don't like. People gonna talk about you, your mama, your daddy, your husband, why they don't talk about your cat dog, everybody. You're gonna have to display self-control. You're gonna have to display some type of discretion in your life if you're gonna live in this here earth, honey. And that was horrible. That was horrible. I'm praying for Will Smith, honey. I am. I am because you don't do stuff like that. That was terrible. I don't care how fed up you was with whatever was going on. You don't slap nobody. You should have had a conversation with that man, you and your wife later on. That's what should have happened. Not violence. You never go to, you never get upset and, and choose the violent way. No, look, look at our people. Look at our communities. Because they can't think, they can't be still, they can't make a right decision in the moment of anger. Now it's causing them their whole lives. Causing them their whole lives because they made a violent decision. When if they would have just waited and been able to think, been able to take an offense. Baby, you're going to live this life, you got to be able to take an offense. You got to be able to take disrespect, honey. If you're going to live... In this here world, because it's coming. The Bible tell you that. You don't never take it upon yourself to go and slap somebody or pick up a weapon against somebody because they said something that you did not like or something that was disrespectful. I'm telling that thing, that's it's terrible. But that's the condition the world is in. Anyway, somebody go check on Chris. All right. I love y'all. Y'all better think about this stuff because this is some serious stuff. I'll talk to y'all on the next video. Toodles.